top of the morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for July 11th, 2019. So yesterday we were worried about or thinking about uh, Chairman Powell and um, waiting for his comments um, in front of Congress. And I mentioned that he was really walking a tightrope. Well, he he stayed firmly on that tightrope um, yesterday, issuing some uh, actually pretty dovish comments um, overall and really laying the groundwork for a rate cut. Now, of course, the market has been hoping for and, and kind of expecting a 50 basis point cut, but obviously he gave no clues to what the cut is. So at least a quarter probably at least a quarter basis point cut is coming uh, and possibly by the end of the month. And that fueled the market higher. So we got this big surge on uh, on his testimony and uh, created a new record high print here in the diamonds. But unfortunately, we left kind of a bearish pattern here on the chart. Now that's called a shooting star pattern. But here's the thing about a shooting star pattern. It only is meaningful and bearish if the market follows through to the downside. If there's no downside follow through, then that is not a bearish pattern. It may be reason for a little bit of pause or a little bit of caution, but it's not a bearish pattern. And as you look here this morning, Dow futures are poking up here. All of a sudden, we had a big surge of futures push as Delta Airlines um, saw an increase um, in their earnings report today. So we had this big push up um, after that. Now, let's keep in mind, we still have some more news reports to get through before the market opens. But right now, we're looking at no follow through to that shooting star pattern which would suggest it is not a bearish pattern. So kind of keep that in mind. Trends are higher. A new record high is being set across uh, multiple indexes, and we'll talk about that in just a second. So trends are certainly up and strong, and I don't think we're gonna have too much of a problem unless we happen to get that close uh, where the market pops up here this morning. If it were to close bearishly below yesterday's low, we could start to see a little weariness in this in this move, but for now, um, everything remains bullish. And if we get a close higher than yesterday's low, I think we're in really great shape to maybe move on up through the rest of the week. So let's take a look at the spy SPY also clipped up there. Now the S and P 500 actually made it up there to that 300 or 3,000 level. It ticked through that 3,000 level and, and then uh, dropped right away from that. So you can see we have that shooting star pattern here and you can see on the SPY, we didn't quite make it up there to that 300 level. So kind of interesting how that that can happen uh, from time to time. But let's keep in mind what we have going on here. First off, we have a beautiful upside trend. Everything is remaining strong here. And notice that that shooting star pattern may not be valid at all because we are gapping higher this morning on the SPY. So I'm only going to be concerned um, about this shooting star if we get follow through. Uh, below there. But unless we get a follow through below yesterday's candle, I see no reason to be really concerned about this pattern at all. Maybe a little caution that we're stretching this um, rally a little bit hard, but you know, the bulls remain in control and they want this market to go higher. We're all fueled up on the, on the energy of a possible rate cut and um, everybody's just buying with both hands. So right now there doesn't seem to be any fear here in the market. So kind of keep that in mind. If we take a look at the Q's, Q's made a really nice move and was the strongest index yesterday showing that the bulls were firmly in control by closing at new record highs. So not only did we cross over to a new record high, we closed at a new record high, showing that confidence. And notice there really was no pullback 
in that NASDAQ index. So now we have this beautiful trend and this new breakout in the chart. And you can see this morning we're looking for a gap up open this morning here on the NASDAQ. So any rest or pullback that holds this area as support, holds this support area, I think we're just going to stay bullish. And um, clearly, clearly showing strength of the bulls in here. The only time we're probably going to have to worry about this is if that support area right through here were to fail. If we were to get a close back down below here, then we would have... Um, reason for a little bit of concern but i i think the bulls just have a game plan that they're going to keep this market up uh through the end of the week so we'll have to watch and wait and remember next week we begin earning season so we're gonna we're gonna maybe be at all-time highs when we begin earning season which could make things kind of interesting so um stay tuned it's gonna be you know one thing about the market is it's never there's never a dull moment um, <laughs> you just, it's just, it's always evolving on always changing. And, um, here we are going to be at new record high as a beginning earning season. It could be pretty wild, um, in earning season, uh, based on the fact that so many companies have warned that they are not going to even meet the, the analyst estimates, uh, for earnings. So it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM, um, Picked back up here at the end of the day, but IWM really not very bullish because we're still holding this downtrend overall in the chart. We do have this current uptrend underway. And you can see this morning, we are opening about at yesterday's open, somewhere around there. So IWM just really not participating here um, in this move up. And we'll, we'll have to keep an eye on this. This could be one of our first clues of problems if the market does start to falter. But right now, IWM really kind of not a factor um, of the other indexes. Let's take a look at the uh, VIX. That VIX really dipping yesterday, showing fear dropping out of the market. No fear here at all in the market. And as you can see, we're holding this downtrend. Everything is looking like, um, you know, bulls are in control. No fear. And um, we're still, we still have this support level down here that if we push down into here, we might watch this level for that potential of that bounce area. But right now, um, really... VIX is showing there's just no concern in the market whatsoever. Let's show, uh, take a look at T21, 22, which is the four week new high, new low ratio. And you can see, even though we had a really nice move up yesterday, that sell off in the afternoon kept us down here below that um, um, bearish reversal zone. So that means we still have upside potential here today, and that's what we're getting so far this morning, that that push to the upside. So we can still stretch up here to the upside. We've got room for it. So keep that in mind. Um, there's no threat right here of imminent failure, at least that I can see here in T2122. But also, you know, we want to keep in mind that Though we are right here and have that room to the upsize, we, we, we do have a, a, a big downside potential here. So we always want to keep that in mind as we're pressing those upper limits in T2122. So just think about that as you plan forward. I think we're going to stay, I personally think that we're going to stay, stay strong throughout the week. Um, I, in fact, I'd be surprised to see a change in that unless there's something some kind of major change in Powell's testimony today, which I wouldn't expect um, in front of the Senate Banking Committee. And, um, you know, unless there's something really shocking in economic numbers or um, the tensions that are growing over in Iran. Obviously, um, their attempt to block a British tanker um, is raising the stakes over there. And as this, this continues to ratchet up, you know, anything is possible there, and that certainly could have an effect. 
So we'll just have to kind of be careful, like always, and paying attention to what's going on in the market. But right now, there doesn't seem to be any of that fear creeping into the price action of the market. So let's take a look at our economic calendar today, because the, our economic calendar will have something to say about what happens today. As you can see on our economic calendar this morning, we have the CPI report at 8.30 a.m. Eastern. That definitely can affect how the market reacts before the market opens. So although we're showing bullishness right now, uh, that could either get um, greatly improved or could be diminished by that CPI report and also the jobless claims. So kind of keep those two things in mind before the market opens. After that open, of course, we have the Jerome Powell speech, or, you know, uh, testimony in front of the Senate Banking Committee. And then we have just Fed speaker after Fed speaker after Fed speaker in uh, the market today. We have a couple of reports like the natural gas report that, you know, may have a potential to move the market, but unlikely to really move the market much. And um, then we have Treasury budget and Fed balance sheet later on today, which I wouldn't expect to move the market at all. So keep those in mind. Um, let's see what else we have on the earnings calendar today. We only had nine companies reporting earnings and Delta Airlines um, has reported this morning, strong earnings report that's gapping up this morning. So that's a nice thing to see Delta moving higher and then Fastenal is another company that is notable this morning. And you can see they've gone the other direction, gapping down this morning on their earnings report, missing out. So um, kind of a, a back and forth here um, on those earnings reports this morning. Let's take a look at, um, well, here, before we take a look at some stocks that are setting up, please, um, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor and click that subscribe button. Um, that, and, and when the, when that pop-up comes up, um, make sure you click that bell icon so you can be notified when, um, I post one of these videos. Please keep in mind that the purposes of, the, of these videos is not to predict the market in any way, shape or form. It's to look at the setup for the day. It's to look at, um, the aspects that may be affecting the market for today and helping us set our tone the way we want to approach the market for today. And I can tell you um, over my years of trading, that has been extremely helpful to me because, uh, you know, we, it's very easy to get caught up in the drama, in the hype, um, in the morning open and miss out on some key details on how you should be approaching the market for um, the current situation um, in price action, support resistance and trend, those kind of things. So if you guys find this helpful, please do me a favor after you've subscribed, click that thumbs up button and then click, um, click that reply button to um, just leave a, a simple comment and it doesn't have to be much of a comment, but every one of those thumbs up buttons and comments um, helps the algorithm show these videos to more people. And that helps us with the growth of this channel, reaching more folks. So thank you very much to those who take the time to do that. You guys are awesome. You just mean the world to me. Um, when you do that, it's very gratifying when I get to read those comments as well. Um, you guys, thank you so much. You're very you're just awesome. And then um, always feel free to share this video with any friends and family on Facebook, Twitter, whatever uh, social media outlet you might use. So with that, let's take a look at some stocks that may be setting up for trades and stocks that are actually just moving up and looking really, really good overall. And today I'm going to show you some patterns, um, a couple of patterns of a longer term as well. Now keep in mind, every time I show a video, um, a, a, um, a particular chart, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell anything. Okay. I want you to know that this is, these are charts for your watch list, charts for you to evaluate, charts for you to learn from. And, um, 
it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security, okay? So let's take a look at a couple charts. I'm gonna show you first a, a chart in AMD. Now, um, this is a, a holding of mine, and this is a longer term trade. AMD, I have actually been holding this trade since mid-April, but what I want you to notice here is the pattern, the pattern that I trade all the time. Now, one of the things that is really, really important to me is that I'm always trading the trend. I'm not trying to pick a bottom and I never worry about picking a top, okay? I'm trading a trend once the trend proves, once the trend shows stability. So for example, here in AMD, um, I noticed this downtrend had been broken and I waited for the entry into this situation. So I've been holding a longer term position based on a weekly chart here in AMD, right here, Right here is where we confirm the uptrend. There's our higher low. And I've been holding that trade since. At this current time, I'm up more than 90% on this trade using options. But it is the same pattern I use on a daily chart that we produce those um, quicker trades. But beautiful, beautiful position, beautiful setup. And it's looking very, very good. Um, uh, very pleased with this position. So kind of keep that in mind, that pattern. Um, and by the way, notice that that pattern repeats. There's an entry here, moves up, moves over to trend. There's an entry in here, comes back, test trend. There's an entry in here. So it just repeats over and over and over. And you'll see that throughout my charts, how I mark these up and follow these trends. So let's go back to a daily chart. Let's look at some charts that could actually be trying to set up um, now, um, I mentioned uh, uh, Texas Instruments um, to um, our, the members um, uh, day before yesterday, and um, several members bought that position. And here's that pattern again, where we're moving up in a trend. We pull back to test support and trend. Buyers stepped up, and yesterday, a lot of those folks took great profits out of this trade just in one day um, as that moved on up. So looking uh, looked good, and I, I, I think I would wait here on Texas Instruments this uh, with this uh, pattern that we're showing here. Maybe this is going to require just a little bit more rest or consolidation over to the trend. Uh, before that moves on higher. So kind of keep that one in mind. Um, a chart that could be setting up is STZ. STZ, there's that trend again. There's the break of that downtrend. And you can see what we're doing right now is we're just kind of consolidating that move over this way. Now we do have a buy signal right here um, where buyers are stepping in, pushing this higher. So it's possible our trend trajectory has changed into here. Keep that chart in mind. Maybe some opportunities in that trade. Another one um, that has some potential here that really took off yesterday afternoon, PepsiCo. PepsiCo got inspired yesterday, moving higher. Now watch this resistance level up here, and this is a nice little support right through here. But watch this. If this can pop through I don't think I would chase this one here today um, to give you, uh, you know, uh, kind of an idea of how I would trade it. And the reason is, is if I bought this today, my stop loss needs to be below here. And that's a pretty high percentage risk, particularly with an option. Um, so um, watch this up here. If this were to consolidate across this resistance and then pop out, um, perfect potential entry. If this were to move on through and then pull back test support, there's our trend and we can just follow this trend up just like we did over here. Look at this trend all the way through to the upside. Beautiful, beautiful moves following that trend. So easy trades if you pay attention to the price action of the chart and price in my opinion is king. It's more important than any indicator. It's more important than anything in, in your trading. Um, Pay attention to that price, watch that price action, lay out that price action. The chart is giving us clues. As long as we are willing to look for those clues, identify those patterns that repeat themselves over and over in the market and then follow on through. Let's take a look at Disney. Disney is another trade that um, um, Rightway Options has been holding. Um, we're up 25%. 
in Disney um, since picking up this position and looking really, really good um, as of yesterday, trying to pop through, break through that resistance up here. I wouldn't be all surprised to see this follow through a little bit more to the upside and then a, a maybe a little bit of rest or something coming into Disney. But right now, Disney looking very good, trying to show signs of upside move and looking pretty darn decent overall. Um, and other charts that could be setting up like JCI, JCI moved up strongly, consolidating over here, getting a little pullback yesterday, but that may pull back into this trend, okay? And then just fire on higher. So just kind of keep an eye on those patterns. Another one you might wanna keep an eye on is BBY. BBY, there's that trend again, there's that break of that downtrend again, and notice that price action move. We break above the downtrend, we test support and trend, then we move on up. Nice little tight consolidation over here to trend. We're watching and waiting for that possible entry signal here to move to the upside. You guys know I've been mentioning AIG for some time here and AIG, AIG continuing that move up yesterday looking good. Um, I don't know how much longer this will continue up. It's up quite a few days in a row, but let's watch this closely. AIG moving on up and this is a substantial breakout here. Um, there is some price resistance still in this chart, but a substantial breakout. If that holds up here, so any rest consolidation or pullback that holds comes back in here maybe to test that trend or support could certainly lead to some good upside in that chart. So keep an eye on that after that big breakout. So with that, everyone, um, I want to wish you all a great day and I want to wish you great profits. Once again, if this is the first time you've seen this video, please click that subscribe button. And remember, if you already are subscribed and you feel this video is worthy, worthy, please click that thumbs up button and leave a comment. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. I wish you all the best and we'll talk to you all bright and early Friday morning. Have a good one.